Hello student, this is lecture 31 based on your fourth unit for the subject VLSI design and in this lecture we are going to discuss about this DRAM. Okay. So, DRAM is nothing else your dynamic random access memory. Okay. So, we have in previous lecture we have seen already uh, that is what is the difference between static RAM and DRAM. Okay. Now, we will talk about this DRAM okay, uh, at the transistor level, okay, how this DRAM is designed with the of this transistor. Okay. So, let us start with this basic structure of this RAM. Okay. So, in this figure you, you can see over here that there are two figure that is P and C. I will talk about this B and C only. So, in this figure firstly we will talk about this figure C. Okay. So, in this figure you can see uh, there is one T D RAM. Okay. So, this T stand for your transistor. Okay. So, that is D RAM is designed by with the help of this one transistor. Okay. So, in figure you can see over here that is there is one word line this is we can write and write select from here and we have this bit line that is data read and write. Okay. So, this is a RAM so we can read and write both option are available for this T RAM. Okay. Now, there is one capacitor is connected over here. Okay, that is explicit, uh, explicit storage capacitor. So, that is we are going to decide this read and write operation okay, with the help of this capacitor okay, on value across the voltage value uh, across this capacitor we will decide whether this is uh, read operation and write operation. Okay. So, uh, uh, if I talk about this C figure okay, and uh, let us see how how this read operation is working over here. Okay. So, read operation for read operation if I talk about this read operation. First of all this capacitor let us see this is uh, because here we have not connected any capacitor. So, you can also connect one pre charge capacitor over here. Okay. So, you can connect over here this pre charge capacitor and let us see this capacitor is explicit storage is C S capacitor okay. and let us see this is M. Okay. Now, the tricky option is this if you are going to this read operation for this 1 T D RAM the tricky portion that this at this point okay the your voltage across the capacitor or at this node the voltage should be V d d by 2. Okay. So, we should uh, have the arrangement that the capacitor will charge up to this V d d by 2 maximum voltage storage across this capacitor okay. uh, maximum charge okay, storage across this capacitor is V d d by 2. Okay. So, voltage across this capacitor, uh, capacitor is V d d by 2. Okay. So, first point we will talk about this this load capacitor should have this value. Okay. Now, in second step we will talk about this word line. Okay. So, if you want to access the this capacitor value okay, whatever the capacitor is available this W L or word line should be okay. So, I am just writing the word line is W L should be equal to 1. Okay. When this value 1 this transistor will be on. So, in this case only you can access this C S value. So, it should be 1. When this W L equal to 1 this M will be on. Okay. Now, let us see the voltage across this capacitor is V 1. Okay. So, when this is on if C s let us see the way I am talking about this equal to 
this let c v 1 value ok. So, when this v 1 across this c s, so when this v 1 is greater than v d d by 2 ok. Obviously, when this is on, so this will be decreases or this will go through this ok lower potential. So, when this situation when v 1 is greater than v t d by 2 means across this capacitor voltage is greater than the at this node voltage. So, in this situation what happen ok and that will be the value of this ok data, uh, this data line ok because this is the, the readable by this bit line ok. So, this value is uh, will go this comparison will go into the your sensing or sense amplifier amplification ok. So, this sense, sense amplifier will decide that output equal to 1 ok. So, when the v 1 greater than v t divided by 2 the sensing amplifier amplification will decide that ok or amplifier that, that decide output equal to 1 clear and in second uh, uh, thing when this. So, this will read out the value is 1 when this value is ok I am just writing over here that this v 1 less than v d by 2. So, output will read out as a 0 ok. So, in this way we can read out this operation. Okay. Now, we will talk about uh, this write operation quickly. Okay. So, when you talk about the write operation, write operation is very easy in this case. Okay. So, for the write operation, obviously this now this bit line or data line ok work as a input because you want to write into this capacitor ok. So, this bit line equal to work as a input you want to access this. So, this should be 1. So, word line will be 1 ok and when you want to this uh, when you want to write in this ok. So, let us see this data line value ok. So, whenever this value did 1 it means C is equal to V D D obviously, if this value is here is value 1. So, it can easily charge this ok up to the level V d d ok. So, we can say this is charging also or you are writing this value in this capacitor ok and when this T L is equal to 0 because you are giving the input over here ok. So, C S is going to 0 ok or you can say discharging. Okay. So, in this way you can write the 1 and 0 to this 1 t. Okay. Now, same concept will apply for this 3 t. Okay. So, in this 3 t means you are using 3 transistor over here. Okay. So, this is uh, let us see this is m 1, this is m 2 and this is m 3, 3 transistor you are using over here. Here you are using one bit line, bit bar line, there is a read operation and this is write operation. Okay. Read and write both option are available. Okay. So, quickly we see if you want to write something in this okay, write operation. Okay. So, for write operation obviously, it should be 1, okay. this is equal to 1 and this read should be equal to 0. Okay. So, firstly we can write it down this w equal to 1 and for read operation that is equal to 0 ok 
Now, for if you want to write this operation, okay. So, that is 0 means m 2 m 3 will be off, m 1 will be on, m 2 m 3 will be off. Okay. So, when this will be off means that will be cut off from this. Okay. So, our whole focus on this capacitor because this capacitor will uh, perform the task write and read operation for this. Okay. So, for write if you want to write so, this bit line work as a input. Okay. So, remember whenever we are going to write bit line or data line work as a input and whenever you are you want to read this bit line or data line work as a output. Okay. So, it is clear that should be bit, equal, bit line equal to input and if I talk about the this thing. Okay that at that point let us see this is point x the voltage what will be the voltage because this is V T D. Okay. So, if this at this point whatever the this voltage is V D D okay. and at this point you want to measure. So, when this will be on this will be will go here. So, the voltage will be over here V d d minus V t n of m 1. Okay. So, whenever the you are getting this value, okay, because the maximum value will be this at this point okay, and you are selecting bit line equal to 1. So, bit line equal to means V d d is over here. So, at this point V d d minus V t n. So, whenever this value is coming bit equal to 1. Okay. Or there will be two condition obviously, first one at this uh, maximum voltage will be V d d minus V t n and minimum voltage can be here 0. Okay. So, if a bit equal to 1 that is uh, bit equal to 1. Okay. Now, the second condition if this x equal to 0 at this point the node voltage is 0 we will write bit equal to 0 over here. Okay. So, in this manner we can see this read and write operation will perform. Okay. And uh, for uh, this another option, okay, obviously, this if bit equal to 0, bit bar equal to 1. Okay. Suppose, uh, uh, this is for bit 1 and this bit 0, it is understood that x equal to 0 should be there. Okay. So, in this manner, we can read and uh, write okay, in the for this t. So, the basic concept is just for here, you have to see whether uh, like if I talk about the you want to read. Okay. So, it is understood if you want to read that should this should be value 1 and it should be 0. Okay. So, here obviously, that this these pre charge is not connected. So, you can connect over there with this these pre charge capacitor over here C 1 and C 2. Okay. These are uh, fully charged. Okay. So, let us see if this will be off for read operation. So, that will be 1 that will be on. Okay. So, that capacitor value will go from here to here, okay. but that that will be on that will be on. So, this values will be going on. So, in this manner you can read also. Okay. So, read and write operation. So, this is all about your dynamic RAM, okay. how this transistor based DRAM uh, is working. Okay, so, thank you students.